Hello everybody, my name is Jess from Little Sparks Cookies and today we're going to be making cookies of my favorite cartoon show right now, Bob's Burgers. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and started with their faces to let them dry since we're going to be doing all five characters. I'm live from Los Angeles, California and I'd love to know where you guys are watching from and if you watch this show. So here's Gene Belcher, and I'm just going to ice his shirt. And uh, a lot of you guys ask why I'm not using the uh, icing bags. I'm not using them since I'm only doing this one color. I just don't want to waste a full bag if I won't be using the colors. And usually my boyfriend is here to help me, but he's out of town, so my friend is here, Jana. She'll be reading questions and comments for me. Hi, everybody. Hi Harrison. So Harrison, Jenna, he's he's always watching. Hi Harrison. <laughs> All right. So as you guys can see, I have my green here. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. All right. So this here is Luis. And I'm pretty sure Bob's Burgers airs in other countries. I'm dying to know if you guys watch it. Samantha says hi. Hi, Samantha. Okay, so then I'll, I'll use my bag for her little hat there. What I like to do first is fill them all in. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can see. I like to start with my icing a little harder and then I water it down. And again, I'm not using bags since I'm just filling in really small spaces here. Okay, and if you guys are just tuning in, my name is Jess from Little Sparks Cookies. You guys can check out my website, littlesparkscookies.com. I have a lot more images there. I have a recipe for my cookies, icing, and I also have an Instagram, Little Sparks Cookies, We'll share it here in a second. All right. Daria said, I love these. Oh, and Samantha watches Bob's Burgers too. So something really cool, I believe it was, wow, maybe two years ago, um, I actually made cookies for the creators of Bob's Burgers. The production company is Bento Box. And uh, if you guys are familiar with H. John Benjamin, he actually took a picture with my cookies. I'll share it when I'm done here. So this here is kind of a darker gray. I didn't realize it was too dark. And it's actually piping. I'm just going to smooth it out. And if you guys don't want to look at the comments, you can um, swipe. I forget if it's left or right. And then it'll just be the images. Caitlin said, these are amazing. Thank you, Caitlin. Yeah, these are gonna be really cool. Luckily, we'll be able to start decorating them soon since I went ahead and did their faces. Okay, so this kind of bothers me. It's not that smooth because this was accidentally piping, but I think in the end, we'll be all right. This is what happens when you go live. And Okay, so I'm gonna do Tina's shirt. And then, good thing is that all of their hair is black, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and share my website for you guys so you guys can look at more of my images. Tony would like to know where you, do you get your cookie cutters? So I actually cut all of these out by hand with a spatula, because I there are no Bob's Burgers cookie cutters out there. I can get them custom made, I actually probably will. Although there may be some copyright problems there, but yeah, I cut them out myself. I'll show you guys how I did it here in a second. Raphael says hi all the way from Puerto Rico. Oh, nice. That's funny. That's where my boyfriend's going really soon. Um, okay, so here I have, see now I'm going to use my little piping bag here. And for this, I like to just test it out. That's way too little. This is for Luis's little hat, her pink hat. Okay. 
Did you guys watch the new episode last night? I'm telling you, Bob's Burgers is something that I watch every Sunday before The Walking Dead. We have people from Israel and Canada and Louisiana. Oh wow, how funny. Jana's from Louisiana. She just moved here from New Orleans. Hi Samantha. Yes, I'm from New Orleans. <laughs> all right. So after this, we'll do all of their hair and their eyes, and then we'll start making their faces. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. And I love to hear where you guys are watching from. We're live from Los Angeles, California. Okay, so I'll let that dry for just one second. Hi, Eliana from Mexico. Oh, Canada, Maisie from Canada. I love Canada, I'll probably go, last year we went for, what was it, Labor Day? Okay, I'm trying to figure out which is my, okay. Here's my black that I'm going to be using for their hair. So I'll start with, let's do Bob's, poor Bob. I hate how his gray shirt turned out. How did you start your cookie business? Jasmine wants to know. Well, I actually worked at a bakery, Jasmine, when I was 17, and then I moved to LA to go to school when I was 18. And I just started baking for families. I was a babysitter before I did this. And then it just kind of spawned into a business. So, I'm trying to think. I'm 25 now. So I like established it when I was 21. But really, I just have really cool people that order all the time. And that's definitely helped. Okay, so I'm going to try moving these up so you guys can still watch these while reading the comments if you like to. Okay. Jean is, like, so funny. I love his character. I like that he's the boy in a family of basically girls, and he's kind of girly. Tony from Mississippi wants to know where she can find your cookie and icing recipe. So if you look on my blog, Jan, do you want to click on my blog on my website and share it? Uh, we'll share it very soon. I believe it's the third blog post. Um, titled Cookie Essentials, or you can just Google it, but yeah, that's there for you guys. Okay. Jordan asks how she can order some of my cookies. If you go on my website, uh, there's a contact uh, tab there, and you can email me through that. Okay, I'm going to do her hair now. We just shared the blog. Yeah, we just shared the blog, so if you guys want to check it out. And also, um, we will share my Instagram. Tracy would like to know if you have a shop in the South where she can buy them. I do not have a shop in the South. I'm based in LA, and I do this from home, but I do ship. I actually ship um, to my family in Texas a lot. I think the farthest I've ever shipped is New York. Someone wants to know if you could ship to Australia. <laughs> Australia. I would love to, but I think it would be so expensive that it wouldn't be and worth wouldn't it. Yeah. So how about next time you come to LA, you order some cookies? Tracy wanted to know how did you make this? So the cookie cutters, I, well, these are not cookie cutters, actually. They are, it's just cookie dough that I, cut out myself. So if you're wondering what I'm doing now, I'm smoothing it out. Let me see. I'm just gonna tap this. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I cut them out myself and I'll show you here in a second how I did it. Sorry if you guys can hear this lawn mower. It's a really pretty day in LA and everybody's outside being very loud. Megan wants to know how much do your cookies cost? Um, so really it just depends on size and detail, but if you go to my website and if you go to about, I have a, a little paragraph talking about that. I'll share that. Or why don't you share my, my Instagram too, okay. after. Um, all right, so now we'll do Tina's hair. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger so it smooths out more.
because this black was a little bit too hard. That's why it wasn't smoothing out. Thank you. Are you using pictures or are you making them from your memory? Allison wants to know. Well, I have um, a little guide here on my iPad of pictures, but I could make them, um, you know, with just memory. I've made these uh, quite a bit, actually. And I watched, I mean, I watched it last night. Okay, so you see how it's not very smooth when you do this. Sorry if it's loud. It gets a little bit smoother. And they won't break because I overbaked them so they wouldn't break while we're live. All right, so now we're going to fill in their eyes. So, um, see, I have my iPad here and I just kind of, kind of look at them. If I need guidance. Although what helped me before is I did their little eyes before. Okay. Tan Tanya says hello from Denmark. Hello. All the way from Denmark. And will these guys, he, the eyes don't have to be perfect because we're going to outline them. But I will give them their little eyeballs now while they're wet. Okay, and this right here, the black that I'm holding, it's piping. Uh, all right, and I messed up on his eyeballs. Let me put him down a little. Okay, and then we'll do. Allison's watching from Scotland. Scotland, how cool, isn't that cool? Yeah, very what? cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Do you guys watch uh, Bob's Burgers in Scotland, Allison. I'm curious. Okay, and then we're gonna do Luis's eyes. And then Tez is watching from the Netherlands. The Netherlands, awesome. Do you watch Bob's Burgers in the Netherlands? Yeah, guys, if you're watching from another country, let me know if you watch, the, watch Bob's Burgers. I'm pretty sure it airs, and you can also YouTube it. I know it's on Netflix as well. Rebecca, where are you from in Texas? Yeah, I'm from Fort Worth. That's where I grew up. I was just there like two weeks ago. So guys, I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to let their eyes dry a little bit because their eyeballs are looking a little. So Tess says they watch it in Comedy Central. From, where's she from? I believe she's oh, from I don't know. Netherlands. That's awesome. Yeah, this is like, I think right now it's one of the best cartoons. And I actually think it's better than like The Simpsons and Family Guy, like for adult cartoons. Okay, Faith, we, I live, well, we both live in Los Angeles. I'm from Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, and Jana's from New Orleans, Louisiana. And Jana's my best friend and she just moved back from Louisiana. Woohoo! <laughs> and she came to visit and conveniently I had no one to read my comments, so that's your job for the day. It's very fun. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay, so you see the eyes aren't perfect, but we'll go ahead and we'll fix them. Harrison asked, do you watch Shades of Blue? Shades of Blue. I do not. I think that's the J Lo um cop TV show. I do not. The only shows I watch right now are uh, Walking Dead, Bob's Burgers. I will watch Game of Thrones when it's out again. I don't watch a lot of TV. Oh, I love Taboo with uh, Tom Hardy. Okay, so poor Bob looks horrible down here. He's like wrinkly, but... <laughs> Someone gave you a pointer. They said with a toothpick you can smooth the eyes. Do you ever do that? Well, yeah, look at you here. There we go. I just, I did it. I forgot I had it. Um, but yeah. Someone wants you to make Game of Thrones cookies. Sophie Hayes. Sophie, I will. I think um, I'll do them in April 
like right around the time that it premieres. And I think next week I want to do like St. Patty's cookies and then I want to do Beauty and the Beast cookies because the movie comes out. All right guys, so now we're going to start with the piping. Monica says that I sound like Louise. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh goodness. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we will start. Let's start. We'll go ahead and start with Louise. Because that sound like Louise. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay. Do you want to share my Instagram again, please? Yeah. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and share my Instagram so you guys can uh, see more of my work and you can follow me. All right, so here I'm just going to start outlining, and this is piping. So if you go to my website and you want the recipe for icing and piping, piping works for outlining because it's a little bit harder. Okay. But yeah, Bob's Burgers is a great show and... I think it's really cool that the creators have tried my cookies and the writers. They're, they're located here in uh, North Hollywood. And the reason that happened is I actually made a Tina Belcher video. I, made, I was making a cookie of her and they retweeted it and then I just reached out to them and brought them cookies. Okay. Um, Misty wants you to do cookies from The Walking Dead. Walker cookies. Yeah, I I want to, and I, I think, I don't know, would you guys like it if they were, like, gory? I'm afraid that people would be, like, kind of weird about it. <laughs> you know? If I make, like, a bloody zombie face. Although, I think it would be pretty cool. Okay, so now we're just going to outline her. See, these are her little bangs. I always forget to make her bangs. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to we tilt have some her. Pretty Little Liars fans. Oh yeah. Are if you're on my Instagram, I actually make or well it's over now. They're done filming, but I made cookies for that show for the girls. Like I made cookies for their um, last day of filming. So yeah, if you go to my Instagram, you'll see some there. Um, so yes, people are saying that they would like to see the Walker cookies. Okay. Australians love the gore. All right. That's what Misty said. All right. <laughs> Jana's married to an Australian. <laughs> he is from Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. Oh no. Uh oh, I kind of messed up on her. Her little smile there. But all right. Um, one down. I'm doing the easier ones first. Okay, now we'll do Jean. Okay. Uh, Noemi asked if I've met the girls. I actually haven't, but they, like, they weren't there when I delivered cookies. They actually start filming really late and they go, they go, they film till like two in the morning some days. But they did post my cookies on Instagram and Snapchat, which I thought was really cool. Neen is watching. Who? Yes. Oh, Neen! <laughs> you know, your yeah. boyfriend. <laughs> That's hilarious. Neen is my boyfriend, and he's in Argentina right now. He's a professional skateboarder on tour, and usually he reads these questions for me. Lindsay Knowles wants to know if you've ever done Harry Potter cookies. Um, I have not. That would actually, that would be a good one. Maybe next time, like in April, I'll, I'll make some Harry Potter cookies. I see them a lot on Instagram. Okay, so, his nose. I actually just realized that I messed up on his hair, but I'll show you how we can fix that. Stephanie would like to know, do you do stuff for kids, like Finding Nemo or the Minions? Yeah, I've actually, I've done the Minions. People love those. I thought of, I will do those. I know that you guys like characters more. 
So I will definitely do the minions. I'm trying to think of other, I've done like Care Bears. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. Here, his hair should be lower, Jean's hair. I didn't realize that it's like near his eyes. So I'm just gonna go lower with my piping. Oh goodness. Tracy right. would like to know what flavor are these cookies? So they're just vanilla sugar cookies. It's a very simple recipe if you look on my website. I mean, it's just like vanilla, butter, eggs, sugar, flour, and baking powder. All right, so now we're gonna do Bob. I'm saving Tina for last. Tina's my favorite character. Okay, and if you guys are just tuning in, my name is Jess from Little Sparks Cookies. You can follow me on Instagram at Little Sparks Cookies. I also have a website, littlesparkscookies.com, and you can check out more of my work. And I'm here basically every week, every Monday. I have been for the past three months. I really enjoy doing this with you guys. Okay, so I'm just outlining his hair. I want to do the other characters in Bob's Burgers, like not the main ones, like Teddy. I think Teddy's hilarious. Mort, Mr. Fish Odor, and then of course, oh, the sister. She's like hilarious. I forget her name. I just watched the art crawl one and I don't know why I'm forgetting her name. Okay. So yeah, remember earlier I told you that we accidentally used piping on Bob's clothes here. That's why it looks a little bit wrinkly. Allison would like to know where do you get your inspiration from? Oh man. That, see, those are tough questions. Where do I get, I don't know. I just like, I really like using my hands um, I like being creative. I love watching shows. I really like making characters, like cartoon characters. Um, and I also really like making humans into characters. All right, so here, I just need a second to figure out where I'm gonna make his mouth. I'll do his mouth and then I'll do his mustache. Because Bob looks really funny without a mustache. It doesn't even look like him until I make his mustache. See, like how, how funny does he look, guys? But just wait, because now I'll make his mustache. Has anyone ever tried to make their own cookies? Yeah, have you guys, do you guys make sugar cookies? Has anyone ever tried to remake any of Jessica's cookies? <laughs> yeah, and if you guys want to make them, I'm telling you, there's the recipe is on my website if you want to try it. They're pretty easy. I, I, I always tell people it's kind of expensive to like buy everything if you don't have it. But once you have it, you it lasts a really long time, like the food coloring and stuff. So this is hair. How cute, he's got hair on his chest. Misty and Allison said they have both tried. And felled. And haven't done a good job. Try again. Yeah. This this makes perfect. That That's actually what I tell people. I've been doing this for seven years and I was not this good when I first started. Okay, how long have I been going for, Jana? What time is it, 11? Okay, 25 minutes, all right. We're almost done. And for, actually for Linda, I like to do her glasses first. I will outline her eyes first. Jordan said she made your Valentine's Day cookies. Oh, no way. Awesome. Do you have a picture of them? Can you post them on here? I'd love to see them. Okay, so her eyes are, they look a little small because they're going to be surrounded by her glasses. And she's got one small eyeball and one big one. All right, so this See, I have my red piping for her glasses. I might have to move her down a little bit, guys, so she's close to me. All right. The glasses can be a little bit hard. 
Chelsea said she can't stop watching. You do an amazing job. Thank you, Chelsea. Tracy wants to know if you have a shop where you live. Tracy, I do not have a shop. I would like a shop eventually, but I do this from home right now. All right. Okay. Those are her glasses. Now we'll outline the rest of her. But yeah, if you guys like to see more of my work, you can follow me on Instagram at littlesparkscookies.com. And if you made these, you can send them to me there in a message. I'd love to see them. Obviously not these, but any sugar cookies. I'd just like to see other people's work. People would like to see Monsters, Inc. The two main characters, they want to see Boo as well. Oh, oh, the little girl. Those would be really cute. Yeah. Monsters, Inc. Yeah, you guys are giving me really good ideas. Sometimes I'm like, I have no idea what to make. But after, when I'm done here, I usually say what people, like I make a little note of what people want to watch. People have said SpongeBob as well. SpongeBob cookies. That would be cute. All right, now we've got our nose. Little chin. All right. Last, we have Tina. Oh. oh Mama said South Park cookies. South Park. <laughs> um... No, I made Linda's mouth so low. <laughs> <laughs> it's still cute, I like it. Oh man, I, oh well. We have a first time viewer, Hallie. Oh, hi Hallie. Thanks for watching. Yeah, oh and Megan said I should do The Simpsons. I definitely yes, will. I make those quite a bit actually. Um, for videos on my Instagram if you want to look, but I will definitely do The Simpsons. Those are, I mean, I wouldn't say that they're easy, but they're really fun to make. Everybody loves The Simpsons. Yeah. That'll be good. And I feel like everybody knows who The Simpsons are as well. I was worried that people from other countries wouldn't know who Bob's Burgers is. Or the show. All right. I'm so bummed I made Linda's mouth all the way down. Okay. Now for Tina, Jessica's username is at Little Sparks Cookies for Instagram. Yeah. Do you want to share it? Yes, I'll share it again for yeah. you. Um, all right. So Tina's glasses, we'll start with her glasses. They're a little bit thicker, so I go over them quite a bit, actually. I'm actually gonna make my piping a little bit bigger. I just, I cut it, like, there, oops. That shouldn't have happened, that fell on her. Oh, God, there we go. We have another first time watcher, Michelle. Oh, hi, Michelle. She said, how about cook characters from Fallout 4? I've never heard of that, what is that? We'll have to check it yeah, out. Yeah, I can look it up. I think there's a new show that I made cookies for that I've ne I'd never heard of. PJ Masks. Have you he guys heard of that? Um, I've done those for a couple of kid parties. Amber would like to know if your hands get sore from doing these. Not these. Um, I did have like a ginormous order this weekend. And yes, my hands are sore. My wrists were. But I would say for the most part, no. Okay, her glasses could have been a little bit bigger. All right, but oh well. Sometimes we just have to improvise. All right, here's her nose. See, so yeah, their, their mouths are really close to their noses. There we go, that one's better. Um, Simone would like to know, um, since the hair is black, why do you pipe around it? Well, because I outlined them in white. So you see how it's white there? 
if I didn't pipe, then you'd see white. You still kind of can, but um, <laughs> I think it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually, I didn't make yellow piping, but her little barrette is yellow. Let's see if that works. Megan is following your Instagram. Yay! Thank mm -hmm. you, Megan. All right, guys, I think we're all done here. What do you guys think? Other than um, Louise's mouth being all the way down there, I think we did pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be here next week at the same time. And follow me on Instagram. The recipe's on my website. Do you Snapchat? Snapchat, yes. It, my Snapchat is Little Spark Jess. All right, guys. Thank you so much and have a great day.